subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notifications on new videos. Okay. Alright, my brother was asking me how to um, install fonts on his computer. So I'm making this video actually just for him, but uh, anyway, I might be posting this on YouTube. Alright, so for example, this is the font that I want to download. I'm saving it. It goes to my um, download folder. I'm looking for a typewriter sort of um, fonts right now. So it's downloaded. So let's go to downloads. are the two fonts that I have. I'm gonna cut it and put it here. So what you basically do need to do is um, you need to unzip it because most of the fonts that you download from the internet they will be in the, the zip file. So let's track here should do it. I have the new files here, yeah, 1942 I have, and I can delete this uh, zip file, I don't need it. These are text files, I can delete it as well. So these are all font files. So now, how to install this fonts is, uh, you just need to go to control panel. So when you're in control panel, go to appearance and personalization, you should be able to see fonts here. So, just click there, and here you can see all the fonts installed on your computer already. So installation of fonts uh, that you have downloaded is pretty simple. Uh, all you have to do is, okay, so this is where I have, yeah, this is where I have uh, kept all my fonts that I need to install today. And um, they are all unzipped. I have removed all the text files. Now all you have to do is copy and go to control panel and paste it here. It will install the fonts automatically. So all the 24 fonts that I uh, cut there, they have been installed and you can use it uh, in your programs. For example, let's check it out. Um, <laughs> for example, let's say destroy. So to check that, we'll go to simple way to test it is using a Microsoft Word document. Okay, so um, what was it? Destroy. Yes, I have destroy. This font files actually gets installed under um, C drive, Windows, and fonts. Yep. So this is the same location where it is getting picked up from. So if you want to back it up, if you want to back up your fonts, you can do it from this location. C Windows fonts, or you can also directly do it from the Control Panel fonts. Copy the file and paste it to back it up or if he wants all of them just copy it subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notifications on new videos